multicultural Newham in East London. A third of the population are of South Asian descent, tens of thousands of them Muslim. In sight of Canary Wharf, the world's largest Islamic missionary movement now wants to build a huge new mosque to be their regional headquarters. The Tablighi Jamaat already own this piece of industrial wasteland. For years, they've used makeshift porter cabins for prayers. Tablighi Jamaat want Muslims to go back to a pure Islamic faith untainted by modern attitudes. They believe their followers should have as little as possible to do with wider secular society. And it's from here they want to preach that message. Tablighi leaders have refused us any interviews, notoriously averse to publicity. Hello, how do you do? We just want to talk to some of the people going to pray. Are you going to pray? I'm so late because I'm imam of this mosque. So I'm really oh, you're the imam of the mosque. Yes. Ah, hello. So um, can I just quickly ask you... No, I haven't, uh, haven't got time, just one about minute the, left. Can, can I just ask you about the new mosque that you want to build here? Um, I, ca I can't give you anything right now. You can't now. give me yes. any interviews at no. all. But some non-Tablighi Muslims were happy to speak in favour. I see the good work that they are doing. In fact, I, I feel that there is more need for people like them because they are uh, presenting the true peaceful uh, image of Islam. Campaigners against the newer mosque worry about the movement's ideology. Their teaching is that uh, Muslims should keep themselves separate from everybody else. They should isolate them from everybody else and the, the more you do that the better Muslim you are. Well, that's very anti-social teaching. Uh, and it doesn't help any sort of integration, it doesn't help any community feeling around here. In effect, what would they would do in the long run is they would build a ghetto around here, an Islamic enclave. The new mosque would hold over 9,000 worshippers. That's nearly four times the capacity of St Paul's Cathedral. Many local Muslims are also uneasy about the new mosque, but were nervous of speaking publicly against it. Some told us it would give one Islamic group too much dominance over the whole community. Planning experts are advising the local authority to refuse permission for the mosque complex, arguing it doesn't provide the desired mixture of housing and jobs. Emily Buchanan, BBC News in East London.